Okay, welcome to the world of wonder. I get this question in my AMAs constantly, constantly. Five wood, UW, hybrid, what's the difference? What do you do? How do you pick one? So I'm gonna do a video explaining with my GC quad down here, why I'm a five wood guy and why some of you might be a UW person or a Rogue ST Pro hybrid person. We're gonna find out the difference right now. Uh, let's get into it. Kind of excited for this one. Uh, here we go. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. I am here with John Rom. JR, how's it going? Good, how are you? There's like a dime sweet spot <laughs> mark here. Are you not supposed to have that? It's really hard to get. <laughs> okay, so we have a shot. So for me, five wood, I'm a five wood player. Five wood for me carries about 235 in the air. Typically spins between 3,700 and 4,000, depending on how I hit it. Those are kind of the numbers. Um, ball speed 145 to 150. Once again, depends on how I hit it. But I have an Apex UW here with a Tensei uh, 85TX. I've always been kind of a five wood player. I've always liked how they looked. So my specs on mine, I have a Ventus Blue 8X. Then I have a Rogue ST Pro Hybrid. It says 20 degrees on it. We actually bent it to match the other ones at 19 degrees. And it's got a hazardous RDX 80 gram TX shaft. So we're gonna start with a hybrid. Let's see what the GC Quad tells us. By the way, the GC quad for a guy like me, this is dangerous for me because I love, I could sit here all day and just rifle five woods into this green and just look at the numbers all day. It's like a video game. So shout out to Foresight Sports. All right, here we go. So 235, gotta hit a good one. So it's at a little skinny, got up in the air. It's kind of a mid flight. So I got 144 ball speed out of that one. It carried 223 at 4,200 spin. Okay, let's hit one more. Let's see if I can squeeze one. Didn't roast it. That's the thing about the, about the hybrid as, a, as opposed to like a three iron is a thin shot with a three iron is not gonna fly like that, especially for me. So let's hit, uh, which is one of the reasons why I was so stoked on the uh, Rogue ST Pro uh, four hybrid. All right, here we go. One more. Kind of whiff that one. Okay, kind of high right, went in the trees. That was a little bit off the heel, but this is a test. Like I'm not gonna hit them all perfect. So 141 ball speed, it carried 209, it hit it off the hosel, and the spin like cranked up to 5400. So that's what happens when you hit it off the heel. Okay, so. Keep in mind what happened there. So the Rogue ST Pro has the smallest footprint of the three clubs I'm going to hit. Now I'm gonna to get to the Apex UW, which sits right in between all of these clubs. On tour, the reason why everybody loves this club is because the spin stays the same out of the top of the club as it does at the bottom. It's got a very consistent spin face. So you don't really get any heaters with this thing. So the hot ones go, for example, like for Xander, if he smokes one, he'll get 245 out of it but then the stock one goes 238. It gives them a nice tight yardage window. Okay, Tensei 85TX, AV Raw Blue, and let's see what this does. See, for me, even to my eye, this already looks a little bit more what I'm used to. So let's hit one. Okay, a little higher than the Rogue ST Pro Hybrid. Ball speed kicks up. I got 147 ball speed out of that one. I want to carry 229 at 3,800 spin. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, let's hit one more with the UW. See, for me, when I, whenever I tested these, especially when UW came out, I was getting a little bit more height out of the UW, but one of the things I liked about it, once again, is I didn't get any hot spots. Like, there's no sneaky, weird, super duper ball in this thing. It just kind of, kind of never changes. Let's hit one more. That one I kind of flushed. So I got 149 ball speed out of one. I carried 231 at 3,900 spin. Launched at 14. Like those are, those are fun numbers. Okay. So now let's go with the five wood, which is my gamer five wood. And let's see what this thing does. Now in all my testing, before this video, last summer, this summer, Five wood for me was just always the best combination of distance and spin everything and everything. 
And if I hit this solid, it should carry about 235. It just pounded it. So I got 152 ball speed out of this. I carried 236 at 3,800 spin. Like, that's amazing. Let's hit one more. Okay, I'm gonna try and step on one. I'm actually gonna try and really get one in the air, which is, I can hit the UW high. The Rogue ST Pro, I can hit it pretty high. This one, I can hit really high. And I don't lose a lot of yardage. So I can kind of hit that, that high bomb with the five wood, which I really don't have with the other two. That's just me though. Like that was absolutely flushed. See that launched at 17 at 151 ball speed. It carried 238 and it had 4,200 RPMs of spin on it. That's why I'm a five wood guy, but that's just me. So when you're with, working with your fitter, you know, a good fitter is gonna let you know exactly what your optimal launch angle is, spin and all that stuff, but there's versatility in all these things. But the difference between the three of them, for me, a five wood's always gonna be more forgiving. It's got a bigger thumbprint, more surface area, usually higher MOI. The Apex UW is going to be maneuverable, a little bit more responsive for me than a five wood. Um, and the spin consistency on this thing is amazing. Hybrids, especially the Rogue ST Pro Hybrid is a true iron replacement. So this is to replace a two or a three iron. So that's gonna be the first thing that separates the three, but for some players, performance wise, some people will hit this better than the five wood and the UW and on and on and on. So that's kind of the whole point of this test. So when you're choosing, make sure you hit all of them to figure out what one works best for you. If you have any questions, go to the World of Wonder website, callawaygolf.com. That was a fun experiment. So, I mean, I kind of figured it out for myself, but you're gonna to have to go to a fitter and figure it out for you. So, uh, happy hunting.